Welcome to the Spirit Guide Daily. Daily messages that are timeless. They are your spirit guides trying to offer you guidance throughout the course of your day. This message will find you when it is meant to. These are fortune reading cards. This is the Enchanted Woods inspiration cards and this is the in-between tarot i actually genuinely enjoy it a great deal let's get your cards for today hey guys don't forget to subscribe because it helps my channel and if you want to book me for a reading there is a link to my website in the description box down below hitting that thumbs up button also is helpful to my channel but let's find out what your cards are today let's see let's see all right Ooh, nine of pentacles oh five of pentacles in the upright hmm this is interesting to me because the Five of Pentacles is a card of anxiety, of feeling left out. Sometimes it's a card of deprivation or ill health. And it comes out with the Emperor in reverse. And that's coming out with the Tower in the upright. Okay, well listen. Sometimes it's important to get a heads up. Whether this is today or coming up for you, understand that there is a big change coming to your financial circumstances. It appears to be positive so far. The emperor in reverse, abuses of power that used to deprive you to, like people used to take from you and you didn't receive anything in return is what this particular draw is saying. The tower is saying that is all changing. I am not a reader that has a bad relationship to the tower. The tower for me is divine intervention. It can be epiphanies. It can be messages from on high. And what you're being told is that the past is changing, that you're shedding old energies, and that if you're looking backwards at all to the type of relationships you've had in the past that deprived you, that left you feeling, I kind of want to say bereft, well, Understand that things are going to be changing in that. You're going to be able to feel more of your personal power. Remember, the tower is ending it. The tower is a complete and sudden change to these two areas. The emperor in reverse, not one of my favorite cards because it is about feeling deprived of your personal power. And the reason that it, this is like not, you know, tweaking me out on any level is all of that's changing. All of that's changing. You honest to goodness don't know when you're going to turn a corner and have the biggest opportunity of your life. Please stop defining everything that is happening in your life by what has come before you, meaning that everything can change if you're willing to change. There we go. The queen, love and prosperity. Please remember that. Um, the reason that I'm kind of like hammering that one just the tiniest bit is that you look like maybe you're at the end of your rope. When you're at your end of the rope, you tie a knot and you hang on. Things will pass. Things will pass. Now is not always. Things can change in the future to love, prosperity, a feeling of personal power. I think you felt yanked around, yanked around on this particular journey for a little while, and you're wondering when your changes are coming. They're going to come when you least expect it. You aren't going to get much of a warning when on the day that your life changes for the better. And your life is changing for the better. And that's what these cards are trying to tell you, is that there is a solution. We have Renew, and then two came out. I'm taking caution. Tread softly so as not to disturb the woodland for, floor. Please remember to be kind and gentle and understanding of yourself and others. It particularly big changes. If you've been wondering why good things haven't been happening for you and good things haven't been happening for you, Remember, you can get overwhelmed by the idea of success as well. Because I renew, nature continuously renews itself year after year. Since the tower is a card of complete and sudden change, and the cards preceding it are, I'm not going to say negative, but cards that say that you've been learning lessons that have been difficult, that you've felt the trials and the tribulations more than you felt the blessings and the joy. Remember, all that's changing. Love and prosperity is coming your way. You're, I, I have the hardest time helping people understand this. Success is stressful because it comes with it a level of expectation. And people who have been trying to recover can quite frequently not understand that it's going to make them feel very anxious, question their own power as well. You are being told that a change is coming to you. It's coming very soon and that you need to just keep hanging on that everything from the past will fade into the past and into memory, and that your new day is dawning, and it is one where love and prosperity will be yours. 
but that you need to adhere to all of the processes that got you through the difficult times because you're at a little bit of danger of everything changes and you want to like achieve. You've been, <laughs> if you've been held in stasis for a while and things start happening, you're just going to want to go, 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 go. But you're being told to be careful with your energy, to be kind and gentle with yourself. They are not going to like give you something and then take it away again. For me, again, the tower is a card of epiphanies and divine intervention. Things will change for you, but please remember not to overdo it because you're excited about things changing. And the past isn't chasing you. It's not going to catch up with you. Once you're healed, you're healed. And you can shed that energy and live in a renewed and a joyful one. That was the Spirit Guide Daily for today. You've got changes coming and they're coming soon. And it will kind of crack the world open and shed light into a couple of areas for you. But remember to be kind and gentle and cautious with yourself, to treat yourself with respect for your energy, for the path that you have taken. Continue to heal even when, you know, all of your orchards are bearing fruit. Okay, that was Spirit Guide Daily for today. Thanks so much for joining me. If you want to book me for a private reading, there is a link to my website in the description box down below. Don't forget, love and prosperity will soon be yours. Take care. Be well.